After the fight between Achigo Kurosaki and Grimjo Jagajakwes concludes when Achigo breaks through Grimjo's strongest attack, Grimjo attempts to continue the fight, but is attacked by Noitra Gilga, an espada. However, Achigo protects Grimjo. As Achigo and Noitra begin to fight, Tesla Lindor Cruz, Noitra's subordinate, captures Orheim Inoue. NNOITR uh, reveals that he is the fifth espada and is stronger than Grimjo. Meanwhile, Renji Abarai, Yuryu Ishida, Pesky Gwitiche and Dondo Chikka Bilston attempt to flee the Espada Siloporo grants, but B. Because Siloporo controls the building they are in, he redirects the hallways to point back towards their battlefield. Noitra overpowers the tired Achigo, and when Orheim attempts to help, Tesla threatens to destroy her hair clips, the source of her power which would allow her to stop Tesla. Siloporo releases his Zanpakuto and creates clones of Renji, Yuryu, Pesky and Dondo Chekka. Furthermore, he releases the power limiter in the room to allow Renji and Yuryu to fight at full power. Meanwhile, Noitra encounters Nell and recognizes her. When Achigo asks how he knows Nell, Noitra reveals. Nell's true name is Nelil to Odell Schwank, indicating that she is a former espada. Noitra uses Nell as a shield against Achigo, whom he pins to the ground. As he prepares to break Ichigo's arm, the eye. The intensity of Nell's emotions causes her to return to her original adult form, Nelly. Pesky and Dondo Chikka realize that Nell has transformed into her original form, and feel nostalgic. Nelly takes Achigo away from the battlefield. And as she prepares to fight Noitra, she reveals that she was the former third espada. She overpowers Noitra, and in desperation, Noitra uses a Cero Blast. Nelly use. S. A. Cero double technique to absorb Neutra's Cero and redirect it at him with doubled force. However, Neutra is relatively unharmed, and reveals that the Espada have grown stronger in her absence. Yuryu and Renji struggle to fight their clones as they copy their attacks. Renji uses his Bankai, and the clones copy him, destroying the building. In response, Sai Laporo destroys the clones, and us. S another ability of his released form to create voodoo dolls of his opponents. Using the dolls, he causes pain to his targets, and damages their internal organs. Meanwhile, Neutra and Nelil fight each other to a stalemate. And Neutra states that he despised Nelil even during her time as an espada. Neutra recalls his past encounters with Nelil, in which Nelil sparred with Neutra and easily defeated him. In one session, Neutra demanded that she continue the fight until one of them died, and Nelil refused. As a result, Neutra attacked Nelil's subordinates, Pesky and Dondo Chikka, and with Sai Laporo's aid, paralyzed Nelil long enough for him to land an attack on her. He left her outside Aizen's palace, where she transformed into an amnesiac child, in which Pesky and Dondo Chikka vowed to protect her. In the present, Neutra taunts Nelil about their past and Nelil prepares to release her Zanpakuto. Nelil finishes her release, transforming into a white centaur, and overwhelms Neutra. Meanwhile, Pesky and Dondo Chikka begin to fight Siloporo, and use Cero Syncretico, a combination attack fusing their Cero Blasts, to attack Siloporo. However, Siloporo nullifies the attack, and reveals that he had already analyzed their spiritual energy. When Nelil attempts to finish off Neutra, she transforms back into her child form. Achigo tries to help Nell, and Neutra allows Tesla to fight him. After releasing his Zanpakuto, Tesla starts to torture the exhausted Achigo. Before Tesla can deal the final blow, Soul Reaper Captain Kenpachi Zaraki stops him. Kenpa, she defeats Tesla in one blow and tells Achigo to stay out of his fight with Neutra. He informs Achigo that Kisuku Rahara was tasked with making the Garganta gateways into Hyuko Mundo stable enough for Soul Reaper captains to enter. And that three other captains came with him. Captain Ritsu Anahana arrives with her lieutenant, Isane Kotetsu, and they stop Redborn Chelut and the exequiers from K. Iling Yazutara, Chad, Sedo, and Guntenbane Maskweda. Captain Mayuri Kurotsuchi and his lieutenant, Nemu Kurotsuchi, arrive and Mayuri is confident that he can win against Siloporo, even after Siloporo creates a voodoo doll of him. Captain Byakuya Kuchiki arrives to save Rukia Kuchiki from Espada Zomari Laru, and overcomes Zomari's enhanced speed with the techniques Yodishi Shoin taught him. 
After realizing that Byakuya refuses to treat him as an equal opponent, Zomari releases his Zanpakuto and grows on his body eyes that can control the objects they are looking at. Zomari takes control of Byakuya's arm and leg, and Byakuya cuts his own tendons to stop them from moving. Meanwhile, Byakuya orders Hanataro Yamada to take Rukia to safety. Zomari uses one of his eyes to control Rukia and has her slice Hanataro with her sword. Before Byakuya can interfere, he threatens to force her to commit suicide. Byakuya immobilizes Rukia with Kido and uses his Bankai. Surrounded by thousands of tiny blades, Zomari is overwhelmed by the attack. Zomari survives Byakuya's attack, but Byakuya uses Kido to block Zomari's control ability and quickly dispatches him. Mayuri Inity Ally seems unable to fight back against Sailaporo, who uses his Budu doll ability to destroy all of Mayuri's organs. However, he reveals that he has made himself immune to Sailaporo's attack B. Why replacing the organs in his body with dummies? After learning about the ability from bacteria he implanted in Yuryu to use the Budu doll. He then activates his Bankai, which poisons Sailaporo and subsequently swallows him. Rukia regains consciousness, and Byakuya tells her to rest and regain her strength for the impending battles. Kenpachi battles Noitra, and Orheim heals Nell at Ichigo's request. While swallowing Sailaporo with his Bankai, Mayuri inadvertently poisons Yuryu and Renji, and Sailaporo seizes the opportunity to resurrect himself by absorbing Nemu's spiritual particles through his Gabriel technique. However, in the process, he ingests a superhuman drug from inside Nemu that increases all of his senses to the point where his body cannot respond to the flood of sensory information, immobilizing him with Mayuri stating that one second would feel like a century. He then stabs Sailaporo through the hand before stabbing him in the heart. Sailaporo, whose senses are heightened by the drug, feels Mayuri's Zanpakuto piercing through his hand and heart for what he feels as centuries before he dies. After restoring Nemu to full health, Mayuri orders her to CL. Here away the rubble that conceals Sailaporo's laboratory. Afterwards, Mayuri heals Yuryu's injuries. Meanwhile, Kenpachi has difficulty cutting through Noitra's skin, which Noitra claims is the toughest of any of the Espada, but believes that Noitra can be injured. Kenpachi stabs Noitra through his eye patch, but Noitra counterattacks, injuring Kenpachi. He then reveals that Kenpachi had stabbed him through his hollow hole, which is where his left eye should have been. Kenpachi slashes at Noitra, wounding him, and uses the correct amount of force he needed to cut Noitra's skin. He continues to attack Noitra, and after Noitra accidentally tears off Kenpachi's eye patch while trying to attack him, the limits on his power are removed. Kenpachi delivers a slash through Noitra's torso. Noitra releases his Zanpakuto and gains an additional pair of arms. Noitra attacks Kenpachi and severely wounds him, while Kenpachi manages to cut off one of his arms. Noitra regenerates the arm and continues on the assault growing another pair of arms and stabbing Kenpachi with one of his hands. Kenpachi continues fighting Noitra, and although he is able to keep up with his attacks, he realizes that he is in danger of dying. He then resorts to using Kendo, and severely injures Noitra with a two-handed strike. Kenpachi attempts to leave, but Noitra insists that he finish their battle. Noitra recalls his time with Nelil, in which Nelil frequently saved him from his attempts to die in battle, and claims that he is angered by any display of pity from his opponent. He charges Kenpachi, who inflicts the finishing blow. After Kenpachi defeats Noitra, the Espadas Coyote Stark and Lilinet Ginjabak arrive and carry Orheim away to a tower, where Sosu Kaizen greets her. He informs her that he, Jin Ichimaru and Kaname Tozen are preparing to destroy Karakura town. Aizen orders Tozen to contact the Soul Reaper captains, Tachigo, and his friends with Kido, and reveals that he brought Orheim to Hyuko Mundo to lure and trap them. While he travels through a Garganta portal to Karakura town, however, 1st Division Captain Genru Seishigekuni Yamamoto, the leader of the 13 Court Guard squads, confronts Aizen with five other captains. Aizen summons the Espada Stark and Lilinet. Baragan Lube Semben and Tia Halaibul and orders Espada Alkiora Schiffer to protect Las Notches. Achigo, sensing the threat to Oraheim, flies off to save her. 
In the real world, Tachigo is in school when he sees Lurichio Kasumyoji, who has come back to the real world because she is angered that Ryusei, Kenyu Kenzeki, her retainer, would not allow her to play Kemari when she has other important duties. This leads to an outburst between Lurichio and Kenyu, and Kenyu intends to kill himself to make Lurichio happy. After Achigo and his friends persuade Kenyu, they put on an act to fool Lurichio into forgiving him, but she sees through the trick. This leads to another arg. Yumant and culminates in Lurichio challenging Kenyu to a Kemari game to see who is right. The Kemari game officially starts. The referees are the proprietors from the Urahara shop, Jinta Hanakari and Ururu Sumugiya. Kisuku Urahara himself oversees the proceedings and set up a gigantic barrier around the play field to indicate the assigned area. The two teams, each with varying characters attempt to keep the ball away from each other in different, comical ways. Ikaku Madaram joins in the game, while sparring with Achigo under the impression that he was undergoing intensive training. Then a hollow appears on the field, drawn by everyone's spiritual pressure. With the help of Achigo, Yuryu and Chad, the hollow is quickly dispatched, but the game ends because Lurichio's team dropped the ball. Before she can lament about going back to her world, Shukanogi enters the human world and shows Lurichio that her idea about a Kemari tournament in the Soul Society was not such a bad idea in the eyes of the commoners after all. Satisfied at this, Lurichio returns to the Soul Society, 